So I stayed here at Grizzly Peak last night from whence we saw that beautiful smoky sunset. And apparently this is one of the few places where the trail actually goes over a peak. Um, usually it just goes over the passes. So I don't know how many times it goes over, but according to Gut Hook, this is a rare occurrence. So, so that's it, Grizzly Peak. Um, I had some crackers for breakfast. They've stayed down. So I've had two and a half days, two days where I couldn't really keep food down. Yesterday I was able to eat half of a Power Crunch bar and some um, trail mix and of course drinking lots of water. So I feel even better today, especially since uh, I should be able to catch a hitch into town. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Well, as the morning goes on, I'm pretty sure that most of this is overcast and some of it is smoke. Um, getting some of the orange tint on things from the smoke, but it's keeping it nice and cool while I go up this last mountain. <sighs> Okay, so stopped and uh, tried to eat something. We'll see how that goes. I had some crackers and I saved my last tuna pack. I couldn't eat all of it. I ate part of it. I'm looking forward to getting a salad, you know, something substantial, not full of chemicals and all that stuff. I don't know, you know, but uh, it's getting colder, so I put my rain jacket on, but look at how beautiful this is. Look down. It's almost like a mist through the forest. Well, I made it to the Smith Clark turnout. Came down and now doing a road walk out to the two so I can hitch into Skycomish. Hopefully, maybe somebody coming off this mountain will give me a ride. I'm feeling a little better. I'm keeping the food down so that that's good. I just have to show you one of the cleanest, nicest laundry rooms I have ever seen. And the fellow who owns it was just here making sure everything is clean. Isn't this nice? Chairs to hang out. I'm at one of the intersections of this wonderful little town, Skycomish. There's the sun. We can actually see it. It's a historic railroad town. The railroad still comes through. There's the library. All the old buildings have been restored and they're working on restoring the old Skycomish Hotel here. This right here is the Whistling Post, built on the original site where the original bar was that burned down in 1903. I feel like I should be singing that Glen Campbell song. I've been walking these streets alone here in Skycomish town. The smoke is actually clearing a little bit. There's the sun.
Here comes the train. Looks like just a little baby. <laughs> he's on track number three. And he's on track number four. Sky Comish is all of these knitted and crocheted flowers. It's kind of fun. Especially along here, along this little park. Insects. Hummingbirds. Almost looks like a flying elephant. <laughs> Here at the depot, they have a two-scale little railroad that you can actually ride around in. There's a tunnel over there. How fun, huh? I missed it though, I think. I'll find out. chocolate shake head into the depot to see what's in here just picked up my resupply package here in Skycomish and I will be distributing this to other hikers in the hiker box smoke is really bad today as soon as I walked out of the hotel I could feel it and it started stinging my eyes so making decisions here headed southbound Right here is the Cascadia Inn where I've been at home for two nights. Getting ready to check out. So I'm now at the famous Jerry Dinsmore's Hiker Heaven. Look at how nice this is. Laundromat. 
Back over here. Bunkhouse. More of the famous Washington Dinsmore, Dinsmore Hiker Heaven.